Hey, Don Copeland here today with the Muto 661 UF, and we're going to show you how to turn this, which is actually a braille, braille-ready piece of plastic, into this, which is a braille sign. And uh, we actually, I think we're going to be able to get like 15 of them on the bed, and it's going to do, uh, it's basically a two-layer print. We're going to do a one-layer print that's going to be everything that's not flat, so your braille lettering as well as your tactile lettering. and. Uh, do knock out 15 at one time and be able to do hundreds of these in a day. So let's get into it, show you the steps that we took to turn this into this. And I unfortunately don't have a wad of cash to show you, but you're going to turn it into a wad of cash when you're done. So let's show you what we did here to, to get that finished result we just showed you. Right here we have printed out the outlines. You can see outlines all the way around. You'll see on the screenshot we're going to drop in. There'll be a, a black outline, which we printed in a white only queue. Okay. And then it's going to come through, we're going to do a two pass print. The first pass through is actually going to lay down all of the tactile. It's going to lay down the braille, it's going to lay down the tactical text, and it's going to then come back and lay down all the color over top of that. So let me go ahead and get this last one loaded on here. We'll get the job sent over here. We'll run a timer on it so you can see how long. We're doing 15 braille signs right now. So uh, this is going to take a bit. So you'll probably get a little time lapse in this video here. One last thing before we get started is do not do this at home. We're doing this for video purposes only. We've actually blocked off the sensors here so the machine will run with the top up. Once you guys be able to see the printing as it actually is going down, it really can't do that with the lid up. So we're going to run it that way. So don't run your machine like this. Just want to show you how it's done. Probably a good time to talk about what can this add to your business. Well, it can add a ton to your business because any public building is going to be required to have some type of uh, Braille ADA type of signs. and. Uh, great opportunity to do it. Nowadays, uh, they're becoming more than more than just a generic black with the white characters and the white braille or whatnot. we are seeing more and more full color signs uh, like this one would be. So this is a great way to add a whole other aspect to your business that you may not be doing now. You can hook up with uh, companies that are building, you know, construction companies that are doing building or companies that go in and do uh, interior design, things like that, and work with them and actually incorporate this in to, to fit the design of the building. So it's just a great, another opportunity, a way to make money with your Muto 661. There we go, it's finished up. Go ahead and pull one of these off here and show you. Right there you have it. Get a good angle onto the side so you can actually see the raised braille and the raised lettering. Nicely domed. Full bed, 15 of them. You could load this up. You're going to print hundreds of these in a day. Great opportunity to add on to your business. Uh, just let it rip and, and let it print, and you can knock out large numbers. Like I said, these are all the same. You could set it up to have variable data, whether it had numbers or whatnot in it. Just a, it's a great, great opportunity to make money using your, your Muto 661UF doing Braille and ADA type signs.